While I was out in San Francisco earlier this month, I got to see how technology is changing every facet of our society, not even just business. So let me give you a great example of why I'm such a big believer in progress. Girl Scout cookies. It used to be that you could only get Thin Mints or Samoas or Tagalongs when the Girl Scouts in your area went door to door doing a cookie drive. You know, that's all changed. These days, the organization, which has been helping young girls empower themselves for more than a century, allows you to buy their cookies online. They got a whole web platform. That's right, the Girl Scouts, they too have gone digital. Now, a couple weeks ago, I got a chance to speak with Sylvia Acevedo. She's the interim CEO of the Girl Scouts of the USA. Take a look. Sylvia, 1.9 million strong representatives of a great organization, but also a business. Absolutely. The Girl Scouts, we have a big business in our cookie business. It's an $800 million business, and it stays locally in the communities where the girls sell the cookies. Okay, so uh, I think that people question now, uh, you know, who joins Girl Scouts? Well, how about this alumni? Because this alumni network is pretty powerful. I know. We have an amazing alumni network. Half of the U.S. representatives in Congress, they were Girl Scouts. 80% of the senators, the female senators, they were Girl Scouts. All three secretaries of states that were female, they are Girl Scouts. And one of the presidential candidates is also a Girl Scout. I, you know, I think we can guess which one. <laughs> now, if you can talk about the whole nature of teaching young girls about business, because I know that Mark Benioff, you were the first uh, organization that he funded, and I know that he's pro-business and pro pro uh, women understanding business. Absolutely. You know, Girl Scouts is the largest nonprofit on the sales force. We're kind of the leading edge, which fits into our leadership right. model, absolutely. You know, we very, I think Mark also saw the synergy. He saw our outcomes, the outcomes in leadership, but also in the STEM pipeline. Virtually every female that's been in space was a Girl Scout. So many, 80% of the women I'm speaking to here, they were Girl Scouts. So we really funded the, and created that leadership and technology pipeline, and we're continuing to do that to this day. Uh, I was astonished, sir. You're a rocket scientist. I was a rocket scientist. In real life. In real life. I worked on the Voyager 2 mission at JPL in Pasadena, Jeff, California. Jeff Pearl's Voyager lab. Laboratories. Yes. Yeah, so we had the Voyager flyby of Jupiter and its moons Io and Europa. So you're a good person to digitize the Girl Scouts. So talk to me about e-commerce. Talk about where you're going in terms of getting young women to understand the interaction between the, uh, the digital world and cookies. You know, absolutely. So we have this $800 million cookie business, and yes, we're moving part of it online because we do know people like to buy things online. Right. So that whole digital, but it's not just an order. It's a business plan. A girl gets to create. How do I create my plan? How do I market it? How many units do I need to sell to meet my objectives? How do I reach out to my customers? How do I make sure they're thanked? That's an entire process that we know not as just only selling cookies, but it's doing giving that girl leadership skills and business skills along the way. You know, so many of the women entrepreneurs in, in America today, they were Girl Scouts as well. Now, uh, we all try to stay relevant in an era of sustainability, in an, an era of natural and organic. I buy Girl Scout cookies. My Both my girls were Girl, Girl Scout representatives. Uh, but they're, they're, frankly, they're really tasty and they're a treat, but they're not necessarily good for me. So I know that can't help sales in a day when people are so interested in quinoa and rice cakes. You know what? Uh, you're right. Uh, cookies, they're fantastic. They're uh, also a treat, but they're an enduring treat. People tell us, don't you dare change the you know, mint. But yes, we are putting going to healthier ones. We have gluten-free cookies as well. So we are looking at other types of products to sell as well that are uh, along the healthier lines. But, you know, people do want their Thin Mints and their Samoas. Now, uh, just talk to me a little bit about, about e-commerce, which I know you just started. I know uh -huh. it's small, but is the goal to get it so that girls are very good at, say, programming, at coding? Because people have to learn how to code, and they can't just all go to Stanford com Comp Sci. You know what? That is something so great about Girl Scouts. We are in every zip code, and part of our Girl Scout programming is very technology-focused. We have girls learning how to code. We have girls taking take action projects where they're creating mechanical arms. We have girls last mechanical night. Mechanical arms? Yes, to help people with for aesthetics. Last night, I was with all, 70 Girl Scouts in Los Gatos. They were making robots. They were creating lava volcanoes. 
you know, Girl Scouts in, from the Daisies all the way to the seniors and ambassadors. They, it's part of our culture to do technology, to learn how to code, to do have hands-on projects, whether it's creating fashionable wearables or creating robots. Why don't we, you know, frankly, I'm astonished. Why don't I associate these things more with girls? And why don't I just think about cookies? I know. We have, that's why we're on TV today. We have to do a better job of telling our story. Well, I, I think you'll be the one to do it. I've got your Jet Propulsion Lab. I've got your... My Girl Scout CEO patch. I love it. That's Sylvia Acevedo. She's the CEO of Girl Scouts. This is a 1.9 million employee business, except for not employees, the young girls trying to get it right. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.